Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? There's something you don't see every day. A little green guy hooked up to that monster. We are gonna try to back her out. Hook her to the truck. Give the truck a try. The new truck. This is tight in here now with this. I got my suitcase weights on and I left the mower deck on. I probably should maybe raise those up. Um, see if this thing's gonna lift this again just on this guy. She's pretty heavy, the tongue of this thing. Um, now I gotta get a plan of attack. If I go straight back, I almost gotta go back and then cut that way. But the thing is, when I'm here sitting here backing up, I can't see where I'm turning too much. <laughs> I need some huge mirrors like way out to here to to point me right but um, anyways we'll figure it out uh, we're going camping anyways for the weekend which is good so yeah, if I can come back and just get her just to start into there maybe and then I got room I can pull forward and then we'll hook her up to the rig so I had a little problem with my uh, on-demand tankless water heater what ended up having was my little reg regulator guy that's in this box here for the for the for the for the water it um it had a bit of gunk in the little screen so i cleaned that out and it was fine so anyways <laughs> like what is going on here and driving me nuts it won't turn on it was weird because i could like turn the water on inside full hot the thing was running <sighs> but no hot water coming out but what the heck i turn on the drain there and it shh, and all kinds of hot water would come out but nothing inside turn this off still nothing inside i'm like what is going on here so i ended up uh i ended up uh, finding that screen was bunged up and then everything was fine after that so this poor thing's been sitting here a wee while we're sunk in a little bit here see if we can get her backed out of here oh boy i don't know she's going to be a a little bit of a push but um Hopefully we can uh, get her out here again. The only reason I parked it this way is because there's people thieving these things. And I thought, you know what, it's going to be a real real pain in the ass to try to get that out without the tractor here. First of all, I guess i got to lift it up and get that block out. Well, let's fire this thing up. I better make sure the uh, it's still sitting on the, the log there. I got the thing locked on though, but... I better put the, the brakes on here. And I could hook up the power here too. If I wanted, needed brakes, I could do that. Wow, well, I got the brake controller there. Let's lift her up here and see what happens. Uh, put you guys Definitely heavy. Holy man. <laughs> huh. uh. Uh. The block. Okay. Well, so yeah, we got to kind of go back and then turn a little bit that way. So this will be interesting. Is make sure we're still going here. So I got uh, some cement pads right under me too, which isn't so good. Okay, here we go. Put in gear, maybe four by four. Oh, she's moving. Gosh, that's heavy. Holy crap! That is heavy. I wish I had a mirror I could look and see, you know, where I kind of needed to go. I'm just going to jump off and have a quick look. Oh yeah, they were ever sunk in there. Holy. So I should be able to come back a little more. 
and then it'll start to turn into that sort of hollow there. Yes. Yes. It was much nicer coming in here. I think I'll start to turn now. I will get to a certain point where I'll be able to see around the corner here. There's that one tree back there I just don't really want to get tangled into. Being so long, it's weird how it turns. It kind of turns like a bus. <laughs> I guess we'll say it turns like a bus. Oh yeah, if I go straight back there, we'll be good. Oh, yeah, I better not go that way anymore. Okay. Off and on, off and on. They'll come forward a bit, straighten her out. actually pretty good there when I got lots of room here yet let's just double check over here I could come over a little more oh I think we'll be all right I'm a little snug there though but uh, maybe I'll go over a little more with it and then I got to put this hitch I got on here onto the truck got to get that uh, block again I think I'm just gonna go a bit more oh, I just don't feel right you know we've got to be able to see where I'm going yeah we're definitely over more so that's good this thing actually moves it pretty good but I wouldn't want to go too far <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't want to go much further than the yard. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, feel bit better there. That comes straight back. Actually, I wouldn't mind turning it a bit. Coming out a bit more. Uh, if I turn, hang on a sec, I gotta go back here again. If I turn and go out, yeah, we should be fine. I was wondering about the rear end coming over and kind of tagging that pole a bit. But there's more out front than there is out back, so we should be good. I should be able to cut her hard here. Could go back a little more. Don't want her getting too close to me though. I think that should be okay there. Okay, gotta go get that block, we'll put the brake on. I never tested the brakes on it, but uh, hopefully they're working. <laughs> hopefully they're working. Okay, we gotta get that big block. And I'm hoping that thing will kinda stay there, but I do have a one of these guys over here. <laughs> I'll just put that in the middle maybe here and that'll Hopefully rest up against that and not keep rolling on me. No, they're not tremendous, but they do sort of work. Okay, let's get the block. She was sunk in the mud a wee bit. All right. I guess we'll just take this off again. I'll have to test that on the truck. Because this thing will actually hit so hard, it'll like, whoa, it's kind of scary. And just put that down lightly. That should, I'm hoping, stay there. I don't think there's any, well, there's a bit of weight still on there. Whoop. Let go you. There we go. Okay, let's get this out of the way now. And uh, I'll hook her up to the truck. I'm 
I got the bars to put on here too, but I'm kind of wondering if I even really even need them. I, I don't know. There's lots of springage on this truck, but I better maybe. <laughs> of course, you know, we're moving the trailer today and it's like a really windy day out. Doesn't look like it there, but it's been breezy all day. Oh. <laughs> it's really amazing all it is is this pin that holds all that back really for that movement so i guess that's probably good i really think i'm gonna have to go up a lot on this though <laughs> so i'll have to jack this guy up Holy cow. I did adjust that hitch. I don't know if it's in the right spot, but I should put a bit of tongue weight down on her too. So, uh, okay, let's see. If we can get this thing. I guess I gotta go up some. Yeah. I have to go up some more here. Fired up. Oh yeah, gotta love the diesel. No active trailer, well that's not good. All right, so we gotta go uh, forward a little bit. Trying to get this big beast pulled out of here. For some reason it's getting tighter and tighter every time I try to do this. <laughs> you know what, every time we wanna take the trailer out, it's kind of ticking me off. This is like the second or third time. We don't camp a lot. But when we do, there's always something wrong with the trailer. Like I had to put new roof fence on again. I did them, it was three years exactly on, uh, zoom in a bit. three years exactly we did them on the 30th of August. And then it was, it was done again. I'm like, wow, what? These are actually pretty good there. Let's go check her out. So yeah, new roof fence, two of them. One ripped right off. I'm like, what the frickin' crap? Looks like I gotta come back a hair. That might slide onto there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we'll lock that on there. Now, I want to just jack her down here. Oh, geez. Hopefully, I can get this thing out of here. Oh, yeah. All that tongue weight on her there now. She's free there now. Let me see how much she's squatting her. Just coming up to the helper springs. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. Yeah, she's sitting. Well, it's hard to tell here because it's not perfectly level but she's a little low on the front. But I think my bars, my bars will help that. And that's a, that's a lot of stuff to put on the bars. But, uh, oh, we got them. I guess we better put them on. Wow. It's this side I got the little pipe or the other side probably oh yes probably the other side okay the bars in and bars are in these things are kind of seizured up a little bit holy shnikes spray some stuff on it but at least then you know they're not gonna really spring off too easily okay I don't want her down that far now you're supposed to jack it up and that kind of flexes things a little bit. Gets this up and pulls it and kind of squishes things together a little bit. So that's why I'm like, oh man, I really want a, one of those electric jacks. <laughs> like a lot. Because we've got to do this a whole bunch now.
Holy, here we go. Good arm work. Ow, ow, that sucked. Holy cow. That's probably good. So that what that does is it kind of lifts the trailer up and it kind of makes things go like this. So it should be a little easier to get these on here now, hopefully. One, two, three. Ooh. Wait a minute. Wow. Mmm. Oh, of course. Pin. You'd have to fall down, wouldn't you? So, there you go. Now, those things you can actually put on too tight. So, we've seen where the helper was before. Um, you can actually put them on too tight, believe it or not. You have to be, like, super Hulk, though. If you could get the chain to stretch that far. But I got the third. That's what I had on the other truck, too. So, um... So look how much this is now. It's almost touching that helper before, so that little bit. Now we got it jacked up too, mind you. It'll settle down a little bit here when we get her down a bit, but. Hmm. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, now I forget what this side was at. We left two empty links. Okay. That's what I was friggering on here. Two empty links. So right about there. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, ah. Oh man, hope that didn't screw up the video. My battery popped off. Oh geez. But anyways, we got her hooked. Now, let's see where we're sitting now. We're you know, pretty high off that helper spring there, so let's put her back down. This is sometimes easier <sighs> going down here. I'm out of shape, I think. Something telling me. A little bit of tongue weight come on there now. That's good. lots and we're sitting pretty good we're sitting pretty good there just a little bit more than normal I would say quite a pull on those <laughs> these will be tight I got them on anyway so all right now all the safety stuff uh, where's everything going this thing's probably gonna be seized up oh it's not surprising that's good ah uh. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, that's as long as I can make them. I guess that'll be all right. A little tight turning, but I don't know if I'm going to get this guy on on that spot there. I'm going to have to go somewhere else with him. Where the heck else am I going to go now? Eh. All right, fat. Oh, 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 no, that's not good. Well, let's get under here and see if there's any other spots that that might go on to. Oh boy, not much. Not very much. Not much of anything else under here. Well, that's not so good. I don't really like that. Get 
kind of need this thing for the breakaway stuff. It needs like another hole somewhere or something. Ugh. Could go around the pin on the other side maybe. I have to do that. Because there is no other spot. Those are really big, huge mother holes there. And they're big, big mother holes. <laughs> so that's not so good. That, but <clears throat> for right now, that's all the option I got. It's all the option I got. I'm going to get this guy out of here. Put him in the trailer. And we better plug this fella in too. A little grimy, but uh, it's got some grease in her. Okay, she's all hooked up, I think. Should be awesome. And I got a couple more things to button up, and uh, I think we'll be good. Let's uh, see if we can get a, it's not very level in here, so it's hard to get a real scenario. It doesn't look too bad. I think once we get out, it'll be better. Oh, darn, I got a wheel chalk over there. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this wheel chalk, and then uh, we'll go test some brakes here lights too. I'll put the runners on and I can't I think I can see those on up there I can definitely see these ones yeah that one's on that one's on that's good that's amazing <laughs> imagine you know none of the lights work either oh my god <laughs> that one's good should be two tail lights one, two, three, four, five up there. That one's a little dull, but I think it's just a dirty lens, but that one's good. Ship changes all the LEDs. That one's good, yeah. That one's good. Okay, now let's uh, zip over here. And reach in here and grab the four ways. And all the way to the back again. I've already checked my tires. I put about five pounds on them. I didn't uh, have to put much in. I was surprised. About five pounds in the tires. Hopefully there's a couple flashing back here. Yeah. So I presume then the signals will be working. And I think the brakes will be working there too because they were both lighting up. So you get the runner and... Hard to see it. I see. Yeah, I see both filaments in there, so the brakes will be both of them coming on. We're good, I think. We're good. That's how you test them. Yeah, you could have someone step on the brakes and make sure it comes on, but if you got a runner light and the flashing coming, you're fine. You're good because the the brake is both of those coming on. Runner is just one, right? So we had both flashing there. So okay, turn that guy off. It's back to auto. Now I've only got, uh, oh, hang on a second. I'm gonna have to roll ahead a little bit. I only got one output right now on. But we're gonna need, uh, this truck's pretty good, actually, because um, it'll know just how much it needs. So you can crank it right up. Most of the other trucks, too, like the ones you install yourself, you gotta know how much to put on or it'll just lock right up. Well, this one you can put it on max and depending how hard you hit the brakes that's how hard they're going to come on so um okay so what i'm gonna do is put them on full there oh yeah that stopped us they let go that's good now i'll wait till this truck passes here i'd like to see a little bit of skidding under each one and then you know that they're should be good. Okay, let's go see if we got little skid marks under each front of all four tires. Just the power, eh? Just pull it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I didn't pull far enough. Oh, yeah. Well, we got a skid there. I don't see a tremendous skid on that one, though. I don't know if I like that too much. It's maybe time to have a look at them. And I don't see much skidding on these ones either. They might have some crap on them too. They might need to just get run a little bit. Might drag it a little further though with the brakes on. <laughs> it's kind of hard on it, but this one definitely locked up. Well, that's good. 
but they've been sitting like oh, a year at least so they probably need a just a good good run I'll drag it a little further here maybe let's see so let's put these right on definitely dragged a bunch okay should be good let's go check that now well definitely the front one's working here hmm I'm a little leery about this back one but I see a little bit of skid yeah there's some there this one's definitely locking up good <laughs> some skids not good but like I say they they probably got rust on them they need to get all that worked off too right uh boy doesn't seem like there's much on this side that's not so maybe good not so maybe good well anyways we got some brakes <laughs> might have to have a look at them when we get back with it get them all greased up and looked at again and they're definitely working over here well but those will probably come back on after like i say they just need a little bit of a little bit of work so anyways i got a couple things to put away and then we'll tug her out try her out and see what we're thinking hopefully it's all good that's a big beast it does look better though behind this truck i think hard to get you a good whole shot here but the 150 just looked too small <laughs> looked like a like a dinky car pulling a bulldozer but anyways i think she's all good now all right well we'll pull her out tow haul on we'll put the engine brake on brake off <laughs> and you break on well got a pretty much a big enough hole here to get this thing through the trees and all this stuff it's not exactly fun but it's a lot worse backing her up let me tell you I might need to check out them uh, brakes on this thing for that little short distance anyways well we'll give her a tug up the road <laughs> our retail is way better than the 150 like miles better you go first there bud oh geez all right i don't think i have to put my mirrors out but Holy mother, <laughs> it's like night and day different pulling this. Honestly, until I start stopping, I probably won't even, I don't even notice it's there. Okay, that's awesome. Well, I gotta do some driving, so I better shut this thing off. Hang on, we'll be there soon. Well, we got a light coming up here, stopping wise. I love this engine brake. It mostly does it all for you. I'm hardly touching brakes at all there. And of course the light changes. But anyways. Is that ever nice? Wow, that's really nice. Oh, someone barf something all over the ground. Not nice. Lovely. Well, I know I haven't put miles on her yet driving with the big trailer, but uh, so far it's <laughs> way better. <laughs> Holy jeez like night and day different I haven't really got a good breeze to feel that shake you know it would hit the back of that trailer it would just kind of flick the truck it was scary as freaking frig that was but this seems pretty nice pretty nice anyways I don't have too too far to go but uh, yeah it seems really good super awesome good well we can feel it tug me a little bit there but yeah, a little little breezy on there I can feel it push me but that would have been like white knuckle kind of, oh my god, getting her straightened out again, you know, and, oh, I better get on her here, I got, oh my god, the pickup with this thing on here is just insane. Now, I found 90 with the 150 was terrible, anything past that, it was, it sucked, and I don't know why I'm doing over 90 now, and it seems pretty good, um, 
just want to keep ahead of the cars behind me here because I got to get over and left here soon. Oh, yeah, I can feel her tugging a bit there. Not nearly as bad though. Holy jeez. Way nicer. I don't know if you can see in the mirror there to see behind us there, but wow, she ever she ever pulled a snot right out of her. Holy crap. It's awesome. Should have had this truck way long ago. I'm gonna get over here now. We're going up a bit of an incline here too. The turbo's pulling pretty hard there, but she's about halfway down, so that's not bad. These people won't like behind me because I got a big turn here to do. But anyways, she seems super awesome. Now I feel a little better driving this thing around. The uh, freaking F-150s for a trailer this side is just not a good deal. Not a good deal, even though they say, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it'll tow that, no problem. Yeah, no, always go bigger. If you're going to go with a bigger trailer, go bigger, go bigger truck. <laughs> but uh, I was actually thinking of the 350, but I think this is just perfect. Oh, yeah, just beautiful, nice. All right, well, I guess that's probably about it for today. There's the uh, dealership I buy all my dirt bikes at, just so you know. They have uh, Husqvarna, Husky uh, Zero Turns and, and uh, something else there too, the yellow ones. I can't remember what they were now. But uh, anyways, I guess that's it for today. She seems pretty awesome. Really liking it. And uh, with that engine brake, oh, that's nice. Hardly touch the brakes at all. It's amazing how much that'll hold you back. That's like phenomenal. It'll probably come on here too even. It's a bit of a turn here. But uh, yeah, anyways, I guess that's super awesome. I know you guys have been waiting for the towing video for quite a while, and I don't know if you can see out that mirror, but I can't really see much out that side. Not as much as I'd like to, even though I do have the mirrors extended. This one, this side's pretty good. But um, let's see how much we can build some steam here. Oh, that's pretty good. I didn't even put her down too hard. Oh, there's a bit of a hole there, boys. But anyways, that's it for today, I guess. Uh, we just gotta go set her all up now and probably won't film, well, you know, anything out there because, you know, that, that's just not right. It's not my place, right? So, but uh, yeah, we'll catch you all later. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and happy camping. There's a good one for you. Well, we're done camping, coming home. Good weekend. Uh, actually, it was really cold all weekend. Uh, freezing cold, not like icy cold, but you know, but went down to about five or six degrees Celsius the one night, so it was kind of chilly. Um, all good though. We had uh, last night a huge storm. I don't think I've ever been in a big storm in this thing like that before, and it was all right. But uh, holy cow! <laughs> so we're just hauling her home, and uh, so far so good. So far so good. So, anyways, I just thought I'd give you a little update that everything went well, and uh, she towed good out there, and hopefully she tows home. It was wicked windy though so we waited till uh, it's 20 after 2 now and we're heading home we normally would have packed up probably gone by noon but uh oh the wind was just atrocious so i'm like yeah i don't, I don't really want to tow it home in that <laughs> if i don't really need to so but anyways all good thanks again for watching we'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day